Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be testing something. This is a little bit of a different video. We are going to be testing which villager house will keep a villager safer. Pretty much. So I have one generic villager house from each biome that I could think of. Um, also, if you'd like to build these houses, I did use a tutorial. I will link the channel in the description. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into the video. Apparently a sheep got out. I have, how? I don't know. Anyway, ignoring that, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to it's easier to do it this way. I'm going to spawn a villager in each house because that's what we're testing. All right. So this is my score book. There's a line for each house. We're going to go through each house with each um, different challenge. I'm going to do one house at a time, I think, instead of one challenge at a time because I just don't want to fly back and forth. So I'm just going to go down the line. All right. So first thing we're going to do is pretty generic. I mean, most houses and villagers have to face zombies at some point or another. So we're going to see if you can survive a zombie. So zombie is there. Let's see. I think it found the villager. The villager has not found the zombie. Oh, there we go. Villager is running. I'm going to fly around and follow this. Go in the house, idiot. There's a ha Really? This villager is not very smart. There is a house with a bed. I will open the door for you. Yes, get in. Oh, no. Why would you open the door again? Okay. Whoa. Um, wait, what just, uh, uh, uh. what just happened is that not only did this villager just turn into this villager, it also 1000 IQ'd a zombie and still managed to die. The villager ran in the house, let the zombie in, ran out the house and closed the door. I have no words for that. Okay, well, you failed. So, um, yeah. I'm not gonna put anything in the scoreboard for this. Simply because I've decided that whenever somebody passes a test, I'm just gonna put a one in as a point. So, we can add that up at the end. But, um, the Plains House failed the zombie challenge. Like, that was this... I mean, to be fair, I guess that was more the villagers' fault. It didn't go in the house. But, besides the point, I'm just going to uh, kill them now. Alright, cool. Entities are dead. Let's spawn a new villager. Maybe you will be smarter. I don't know. So we're done with the zombie challenge. We've already done the zombie challenge. Now we're going to try an interesting challenge. I'm going to summon lightning on top of the house and just see what happens. So lightning happens. I don't see fire. Is the villager okay? Yeah, villager's fine. House is not on fire, surprisingly. I'm going to do it again, just to see. I think I'm going to do it three times for each house, just... There's another lightning. Still don't see a fire, so we're still good. And third time. House is fine. Wow. I... Honestly, I thought that might burn the whole thing down. Okay? I really thought that was a goner. Alright, well, you passed the lightning challenge. That's good for you. I have to go back up here.
Okay. One point for you, planes. Great job. All right. So, villager's still alive. We're just going to go to the next one. I'm going to spawn a pillager and just watch. I say a pillager. Yep. What if I do, because it's a pillager, it won't burn. I mostly did that for the zombies. Yep, you're going to die. Get in the house. Good job. Now, why'd you walk? Why do they come back out? Why do they not just stay in the house? I mean... Okay, I guess they're probably programmed to just run away from them. But, ugh, villagers are idiots. Uh, that's the wrong command. Uh, nope. There we go. All right, well, you failed the pillager test. That's upsetting. Okay. Next test. Sorry, I had to look at my notebook. I forgot what it was. Next test we're gonna do is we're just gonna summon lava on top of the house. And remember this is, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Here. Why do I keep flying over this? I can just spawn a villager. Boom, okay, lava. Whoa, there's lava, but it's not going anywhere. Okay, well that's upsetting. Uh, let me grab some lava and I'll just dump it on top of the house and see what happens. If I can type. Um, I'll get there eventually. Alright, let's just do that. Boom, lava's flowing. And house is on fire. Let's see what's left when the fire's over. Like, it's encasing it in lava. I knew this was going to be destructive, and I figured it would probably burn the house down. Okay, D was I the only one who saw that? I could have sworn that villager just went in, like, trying to get into the house, got past the lava, and then died. Like, oh, oh, it probably went in and then found the lava that was in there. Wow, okay. All right, where's, give me a block of some sort, something not flammable. Just here, we'll use these stairs. I mean, I just, I want to block it off. There. All right, let's watch it go down and see what's left of the house. I know it killed the villager, so it's a good thing volcanoes don't erupt in Minecraft unless you have a mod. Um, I mean, to be fair, a lot of the wood survived when it was encased. Only now that the lava's coming off is it catching on fire and burning. The only real damage it did was the roof. Oh, that's one of my stairs. I can take those out. But I mean, even so, like, once the fire goes out, it'll still be a cobblestone shell. Like, it would still protect a villager. Frankly, it would protect a player from everything except um, phantoms. And they suck. Anyway, not going to go on a side rant about how terrible phantoms are. Um, I mean, it did fairly well. For what I thought was going to happen, it did fairly well. Alright, um, let's just destroy it entirely. Let me. Hey look, TNT. I mean, let's pretend somebody set TNT off near the house. This is why the walls are made of bedrock. It's the only reason. Nope, that was not enough TNT. Okay. Let me fix this. TNT was accidentally set off next to the house. How does it do? Not horrible. Alright, I'm gonna stop the burning now. Actually, I guess I should leave it going. Alright, we're gonna leave that there. 
The fire challenge is um, yet to be determined, I think. So let's see. You failed the zombie challenge. You passed the lightning challenge. You failed the pillager challenge. Because the villagers keep dying. You know, I really don't feel like that's the house's fault. And I almost feel like I came up with horrible challenges for this, but we're gonna go with, we're kind of testing how well they protect villagers. So, the villagers are idiots. Anyway, I mean, lava challenge is yet to be determined. I'll come back later and figure that out. And I have to say, for TNT blowing up right in front of the front door, I think it passed inspection. Like, I think that's two points for the house. It's still intact enough that somebody could come in with a few blocks and have a shelter. So, Plains gets two points overall. Two out of five, which is horrible, but we also haven't decided the lava challenge. So, it could go up to three. We'll, we'll see. Me over here just collecting blocks. Sorry, just OCD, gotta fix that. Alright. And there. Okay. Uh, while we're here, let me spawn a villager. This is the savannah house. So, typical savannah house you would find in a savannah biome. Minus the biome part. Okay, first challenge, zombie. Oh, wait. I mean, you know, I should really do it this way. I should see if the villager dies before or after the zombie. Like, can the villager survive until the zombie is dead? Maybe. Hey, you went in the house. You're so smart. That that was awesome. Okay. Savannah passed. I should have done that for planes, but I'm not redoing it because I'm not building the house again. Did it once, that was enough. All right. One point for Savannah. All right. Let's try lightning. On fire, first try. Wow. You're very flammable. Extremely flammable. You're also completely made of wood. So you're gonna burn down. Let's see if it burns down before the fire goes out. This whole thing's going down. So I'm just going to hurry up and go through the rest of the challenges. Villager. Are you going to kill the villager? Do you even know where the villager is? Oh, now he does. Run! Hide! Ah, oh, villager's dead. Alright. Well, you failed that test. And the lightning test. See if you fail the lava test. I mean, lava is basically fire, and apparently when I press that button, it doesn't flow. Which is stupid. So... TNT? Alright, let's, let's do TNT. TNT blows up next to house, what happens? Boom. And house is gone. This house failed so hard. It passed the zombie challenge, and that was it. Savannah houses are not safe, guys. Don't live in them, or let your villagers live in them. Okay. Next house. The, um... This is the Taiga house. I may not be pronouncing that correctly, but I don't really care. Alright, zombie challenge. Run before you die! This one's smart. He's just gonna wait it out. Oh wait, but you're under a roof, so you're not gonna die. What happens if I open the door? This could be called interference, or it could be called speeding up the process of what was inevitably going to happen. Oh look, they're out the back in the water. Dude, you so could have run away from that. I call that idiocy. 
There were so many other ways to deal with that. All right, well, new villager. Let's do the pillager before we do the lightning. So let's go over here. You're probably gonna fail again, but I'm gonna keep doing it just to see by chance if there's anything that survives. They're not moving. I'm gonna count to 10. If he hasn't died, then I'll count it as a win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Okay. You um, get to live, villager. I will specify that I only want to kill pillager. All right. Great, great job, Matt. We're going to name you Matt. Great job, Matt. All right. So that's that's a win for them, actually. Let me go put that in the book. Uh, that's a point. Okay. So that's zombies and pillager over with. Let's do lightning. A set of three unless it catches on fire immediately. It's not even summoning. All right, what if I do... Then I summon. No, it's not working. Okay, technical difficulties. Be right back. All right, we're back. I fixed it. There was an error in the code. Okay. Lightning! And it's on fire the first time. Why does everything have to burn down? Although, looking at this house, I can infer that it will burn everything wood and there will still be a very decent shelter in here. Enough to come in and block it up a little bit and be fine. So I'm going to say that it passes because it's not going to burn down completely. I'm just going to try to get rid of the fire for a second. I still have some of the challenges to go through house. You can't burn down yet. All right. So, frankly, I think it passes the fire inspection. So, let's go here, add another point. Tied with planes. All right, so that's the first three challenges. Let's do lava. Although, the lava never does anything. So, let me, here goes lava. I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna block it up to see if it survives. I mean, like I said, fire is not really going to do anything to this one. So, I, I still count it as a pass. Like, they've even got an emergency fire exit here to go straight to a big pool of water so they don't die. Like, I think this one is a very good house. This villager just standing here while his house is burning. Everything's fine. Don't worry about me. I'm you went inside? Are you an idiot? You are an idiot. You are in. This needs to become a meme, okay? I'm fine. Nothing's going on. I My house is totally not burning down around me. This is almost like the Minecraft version of the meme where there was a spider in the house and they burnt the whole house down. Like, why? 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 How are you not concerned at all? Villagers should have more emotion. Because <laughs> they don't. They don't have emotion. But, I mean, it, it passes the lava test, this house does. Okay. So, let's, let's go up here and add another point. Taiga is winning right now. Okay, last one left. TNT. Get out of the way, villager. You are like the Trump villager. I don't want you to die. And you're dead. I told you to leave. Also, that was not close enough to the house. Like, I mean, I feel like all these are going to fail the TNT test. Oh, wow. That thing blew up by the front door and there's still a building. You pass. All right, you got four of five. Good for you, Tiger House. I'm talking to inanimate buildings. Can you tell I don't have friends? Okay. 
moving on. This this one did very well. This one right now is our winner. That that's it's a very good house to be in, guys. All right, moving on to the desert house, which I mean, upon inspection here, like nothing's gonna burn down. So there's a plus already. Like, I mean, instead of summoning the fire, I'm, I'm not even gonna, like, do that. I'm just gonna look at it, figure out if it's flammable. So I'm tired of watching all the buildings burn down. Alright, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You win. Let me hopefully kill it before it kills the thing. Crap. I'll kill it for you. Run, villager, run. Come on, die, zombie. You do not have this much health. There. Oh, I could have just done this, but whatever. Okay. Uh... That's that's my new criteria. If you can survive 10 seconds with the pillager or the zombie, then you're you're good. Okay. So desert gets a point. I know I'm totally this is this is totally not like official in any way. I'm changing the rules as we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Oh, I forgot to close it. And that doesn't go there. Boom. All right, you're dead. Cool. Another point for the desert house. So also, I would just like to point out, the desert house doesn't really have any windows. Like, if, if you walk in here... There's no windows. There's this. This is protecting you from skeletons, pillagers, anything that can shoot a bow and arrow. There's no, like, glass that can get broken and you're doomed because they can just shoot through the window. Like, no, that's a fence post. It's not going through that. So, that that's a very good, good defense. Lightning. I doubt it's going to do anything with this house. One... Two and three. Yeah. No damage whatsoever. Total pass. Alright, and that's three points. Just looking at it, I can tell the most love is gonna do is get rid of these fence posts and that door. That's it. Nothing else in here is flammable. So like it's not gonna kill anything inside of it. Where? Oh, there you are. It's like, where'd the villager go? He escaped, and I don't know how. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give them the point for lava. Because I can. I'm the judge. Then down here, let's see. Oh yeah, TNT. Explosives. Fun stuff. Back away from the house. I could have just gone through the hole. I'm gonna start just placing the TNT myself. I'm gonna put it next to the door, I'm gonna light it. Run! Nope, you're not gonna run. You're gonna die. Cool. All right, TNT at the front door, and there's still a house. So, you pass. Totally, totally pass. Perfect score. That's awesome. Great job. All right, next house. Villager. Oh wait, I didn't think that through. They can go up one block. Okay, now I need to make this nighttime so I can spawn the zombie. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, let's make it daytime. Survive, survive. I'm making it a little harder. Ten seconds seems slightly unfair. Run away, idiot. 
Let me just stand in this corner and wait for it to find me. Wow. Villagers are not smart. They run away from all their problems and they and they run like three feet and then they just stand there. Sorry, I hit my mouse. <laughs> It's the stupidest thing. All right, anyway, you get a point because you passed, even though that was the stupidest thing ever. It's villager time. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four. Ooh, you're dead. Don't even. I can kill you with so many weapons. I have my choosing of all the weapons in the world. You know what I'm going to kill you with? No, you know what? I'm going to embarrass you and kill you with a piece of meat. How do you feel? You died to a piece of rotten flesh. That's how stupid you are. Sorry, guys. I lost my cool a little bit. All right. Next one, <laughs> new villager, it's the other one dead now. You did not pass the pillager test. Let's see if you can pass the lightning test. Lightning number one, no fire. Lightning number two, there's a fire. All right, um, let me inspect this house. It's completely made of wood except for this diorite. And this is not enough to be considered a standing structure once this is finished. So I'm going to go with you fail. Although the fire is not spreading. You know what? You win. I'm going to give that a win because the fire did not spread. So we're, we're just going to give them another point in this little book of ours. And we're going to go to the next challenge. Next challenge is, let's see, we've done zombies, lightning, and pillager. So next challenge is lava. I mean, they fail that one because lava will destroy this whole house. Like, there's no, there's no stopping that. Yeah, lava would kill you, just saying. So yeah, we're not going to give them a point for lava. What we are going to do now is we're going to place this TNT outside their door and see if it blows up that pillager. And is villager the villager is alive. They pass. Okay, cool. Now oh, I clicked on the furnace instead of opening the book. Three points for Snowy Tundra. All right, so I'm gonna make a leaderboard because I feel like it, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. I made a look. I didn't feel like making a special tower, so I just put two piles of dirt and stuck some signs up. All right, so now we're gonna do the awards ceremony. Desert being the safest house, passing all challenges, is awarded the Emerald Block. Taiga, yeah, I'm so not saying that right, but I don't care. Okay, Taiga passing four of the five challenges is now awarded the Diamond Block. Snowy Tundra, which now it looks like this, even though I totally think it would be in shambles had I actually done the challenges. Um, failed the fire inspection, but still managed to come in third with three points. Oddly enough, all the points go down by one. Desert is five, Taiga is four, three, two, and one. Plains, although still on fire, Managed to have a pretty solid structure once the fire goes out and stops burning all the wood. So they get to keep the gold. And Savannah, the worst house to live in. I mean, one point. They failed so much. Failed the fire inspection, failed the safety inspection. Worst house out of all of them to be living in. Gets the coal. Coal for Christmas. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this slightly different, but still kind of fun episode. 
If you would like to see more of this kind of stuff and maybe have me bring in Aaron or Pika, let me know in the comments. I read them. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. And as per usual, I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.